Hey, Yannick here. In my game, Spider Doll Mary Jane got abducted by the Green Goblin. To rescue her, you chase the Goblin, fight numerous enemies, and even destroy an Apache fight helicopter. Now you're caught up, and the last thing standing between you and your loved one is the Goblin. So I made an epic boss battle. But before I did this, my man got a white suit for some extra swag. And we all know that iconic Spider-Man line. With great swag comes great responsibility. So the normal dude shoots four bullets and the white suited boy found a button on his weapon or something like that. I don't know how this works, but for some reason he can shoot seven bullets. Of which speaking, I asked you for a better color and most of you voted yellow. So here you go. Much better, right? Now let's get to the boss battle. I wanted it to be completely different to the helicopter battle, so it should not take place on the rooftops. I started by drawing a storage hall as the battlefield. Yeah, this is nice, but it looked kind of bad. Let me try to improve the visuals. Here we go! That somewhat looks like an old storage hall. I know, I know, it's not great, but I'm not an artist, so that's the best I'm able to achieve. I added the goblin and gave him the ability to fly. Perfect. Now he just needs a way to fight. I guess the goblin is most known for his bombs. Yo, Spidey, that's a bomb. Be careful. Ah, this is what you mean, Spidey? No, 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 Spidey, you can't. The goblin has to throw those bombs. I don't really know how to do this, so I started by turning his hands into bombs. Nice. But not really helpful. We all had that one kid in our class that threw balls like this. <laughs> Sorry, Timmy, that looks awful and it's the worst throwing technique possible. So it's perfect for the goblin. Fighting him while he's throwing bombs is already super fun, but it would be boring if he only had one type of attack. Looking at the first Spider-Man movie, you can't forget about the glider blade I kill myself attack. Yeah, let's make that. The goblin can pull out the stabbies and got some knives for whatever reason. In this mode, he starts chasing you. At least he's pretending. Bruh. I approved this and now he can actually hit you everywhere if you don't dodge. And please don't ask why, but he also starts to spin his arms like a madman. And I think that's beautiful. I gave him a last attack. I really love the bombs, so I thought it would be nice if he can randomly throw a lot of them. And I was right, this is epic! To finish the boss fight, I just need to randomize his actions and let him have some idle time in between. Defeating the goblin is quite challenging, but I had a lot of fun fighting him. You can shoot him, try to connect the bombs to his body and even connect his body to walls. I just don't know if it's maybe a little bit too difficult for people that don't have my skill set, so I will get a few of you testing the game. Now I just need to combine all the different levels, add some sound effect, polish and the story mode is finished. I hope I can complete the game in one week so it will be done for the next devlog. And I hope I will see you there. Bye.